Apparently, robots can reproduce. It's actually happening at a lab near Boston, Massachusetts. For tonight's Weekend Journal, we take you there to find out what this remarkable discovery could mean for all of us. Inside this lab at the Allen Discovery Center at Tufts University, scientist Douglas Blackiston shows me the Petri dish so these are frog embryos. where xenobots, also known as robots, live. They are robots, but not made of metal and circuit boards. And why do they call them robots when it really feels like it's just a small, very, you know, organism? They're robots because they're designed and engineered from the ground up to behave in very specific ways. These are returned to the original conception of the word robot, which is just a worker made out of living tissue. Sam Kriegman is on a team of three other researchers who've been working on this project since 2018. A closer look through the microscope shows tiny, uniquely shaped organisms derived from one-day-old frog eggs on the move. They are swimming around in a dish, pushing other cells into piles. This is actually how they reproduce. A supercomputer reshapes the organisms, giving them a Pac-Man-like appearance. The manufactured mouth then collects single cells placed in the Petri dish, which eventually form into identical replicas of the original. Is it all about the shape? Yes, everything we've done is just simply the shapes. You can imagine shapes really important. We can play with the molecular biology and the genetics as well to push the cells to do things they normally would. These researchers believe these tiny organisms could one day do big things in the field of regenerative medicine. So if we fully understood how cells decide to build things, mm -hmm. then we should be able to control it to make them build other things, to stop growth during cancer and to restart growth to regenerate limbs or other organs. It's possible these organisms could even help the earth recover from environmental disasters like oil spills. It shows us that there are many kinds of ways that nature can be creative and reproduce itself. How far are we away from that? We are far away, but we... How far? Will we still be here? I hope so. That, that's my goal, <laughs> yeah. is to do something useful in our lifetime. And the Department of Defense is funding the project. Scientists tell us the DOD funds hundreds of medical and scientific research projects each year.